Hey guys, welcome to our next lesson. This is the last lesson we're going to do with transformations. So it's called dilations, and this is where we're going to either make an object larger or, or smaller. So shrink it down or make it bigger. Um, so the objective, or what you're going to expect to learn by the time you're done with this, is to learn to identify and create um, a dilation of a plane figure, which is like a flat figure. So a couple of um, vocabulary terms for you to be familiar with. A dilation is our first one. So this is the, the new word, dilation. And it's going to be a transformation, just like any other transformation we've been doing. But it's going to change the size. Um, it's not going to change the shape. It's not going to change like the, the ratio of sides or the angles. It's just going to um, change the size and make it either bigger or it could make it smaller. The other term that you guys need to become familiar with is called the center of dilation, and this one is not very important at all. It's just I just kind of want you guys to hear it. Um, if you were to draw a line that connects each pair of corresponding vertices, so like this point with this point, and then you just draw them until they come to a point together, that's going to be called the center of dilation. And like I said, that's not really too important, but I just wanted you guys to hear the term so that you've heard it for when you have to learn it next year. So let's do our first example together. So we do number one and it's going to be identifying dilations. So the first thing that you're going to need to learn how to do is to interpret rather whether or not a dilation is in fact a true dilation or if it's just um, you know like a I guess it's not even transformation it's just a different image or a different shape so tell whether this transformation is a dilation so the way we're going to do that is by comparing the ratios of corresponding side lengths so the way we do this I'm going to start with this side of my square so like if this was our square one and square two so for square one the side length is two and for square length or square two, the side length is six. We want to simplify that down and see if each side has the same ratio. So two and six are both divisible by two. So if we divide this one by two and this one by two, we can simplify this down to one third. So the first ratio we're looking at is going to be a one third ratio. Next, you want to look at two other sides of corresponding lengths. So on the bottom we've got two over six again. We've got two for the small and six for the big which is also going to simplify to one-third and then you just want to check for the last two. Here's another side right here. On our small it's got a length of two. On our large it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And finally this last side up top, on our small, we have two. In our large, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we are, in fact, one-third. Our ratios are all one-third for every corresponding side length. So is this a transformation a dilation? Yes, it is. And if it asks you to explain, which this one does, you would just say that all corresponding side lengths have a ratio of one-third. So that is how you'll figure it out. Let's try another one um, together before we have you try one on your own. So we do number two. Tell whether the transformation is a dilation and explain. So we're going to, again, compare the ratios of the corresponding side lengths. So I'm going to start with this side length right here. So on my little triangle, I've got a side length of two. And on my big triangle, I have a side length of four which simplifies down to 1 over 2. The next side I'll do is 5 and 3. So my little one is 3 and then my larger one is 5. This doesn't actually simplify down any further so um, it is not going to be a dilation because um, one half and three fifths are not equal to each other. So for something that doesn't match up, you would say no because the corresponding sides do not have the same ratio. You don't have to list what those ratios were, just the fact that they don't match. 
So now I'm going to have you try number three. So you're going to tell whether the transformation is a dilation. And remember that you're going to compare the ratios of each corresponding side length. So you'll compare this side to this side. You'll compare y to z to the y to z. And you'll compare x to z to x to z. And see if their ratios come out to be equal to one another. Okay, moving on, now that we know how to decide if something is a dilation or not, we are going to learn how to dilate something using scale factor. So this is a new term, scale factor. Scale factor is just the number that we're going to be multiplying by um, in order to get it to the new ratio, basic, basically. So this one says dilate the figure by a scale factor of 2. So what are the vertices of the new image or of the, yeah, I should say of the new image. So what we need to do is we need to pull the actual values of the original to begin with. So we have a vertice A, a vertice C, or B and a vertice C for text I should be saying. So A is located at, we walk to ride 2, 2 comma 2. B is located at, we walk 4, ride 2. And C is walk to ride 4. So next we know that our um, scale factor is a scale factor of 2. What this means is that we want to multiply each, each point by 2. So for A prime, we're going to end up being located at 2 times 2 comma 2 times 2 which is 4 comma 4 so we're gonna go over 4 and up 4 and that's going to be our a prime okay next for B prime we're gonna take our original which was 4 comma 2 and we want to use our scale factor of 2 so we're gonna multiply both of these times 2 so 4 times 2 is 8, and then 2 times 2 is 4. So we're going to walk 8, and we're going to ride 4. So that is our B prime. And finally, for C, to get C prime, we want to take our original, which was 2 comma 4, and using our scale factor of 2, we want to multiply both coordinates by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 2 is 8. So for C prime we're gonna walk 4 and we're gonna ride 8. So we're going way up there. So that is our C prime. And now to see our dilated image we just connect the points that we have calculated. So this is the image dilated with a scale factor of 2. But the question asked us um, to list the new ver vertices I am doing a video. So the real answer that we're looking for are these coordinates right here. So A prime being at 4 comma 4, B prime being located at 8 comma 4, and C prime Whoa. located at 4 comma 8. Whoa, those riddle. Okay, we're going to do one more together, and then that'll be the last one we do together on this lesson, and then you'll have two that you'll have to try on your own. Um, this one is similar to the one we just did with scale factor and dilating the image ourself. But this time it's asking us to dilate the figure by a scale factor of decimal or zero decimal five, which is one half. So we're going to do this very similar to how we just did the last one. So first thing I'm going to have you do is list out the locations of A, B, and C, the, the coordinates of those. Okay, so I've listed our coordinates. A is located at 4, walk 4, go up 5. B is located at walk 8, up 5. And C is located at walk 4, go up 9. So now we're going to go on using our scale factor. We're going to do our dilation. So our scale factor for this one is just yeah, baby, I mean. times 0.5. So our A prime will be located at... Um, 4 times 0 0.5, that's going to be half of 4, so half of 4 is 2, and then half of 5 is 
two and a half or two point five. So our first coordinate for a prime is at two comma two and a half. Okay, up next we have b. So b is originally located at eight comma five. So to get b prime, we're going to multiply both eight and five by half. So half of eight is four, and half of five is again two point five. And our last is to find c prime, which was originally located at 4 comma 9. So we're going to multiply both 4 and 9 by 1 half. So to get c prime, 4 times a half or half of 4 is 2, and half of 9 is 4.5. So I'm going to go plot that over here. So to find my dilated image, I would just connect the points that I just created. So c to a, a to b and B to C, those aren't very good, but um, you can see that that is the dilation um, of 0.5. But the answer that they really want, or what are the verti vertices of the like coordinates of the image? So we would want um, this one right here, A prime, B prime being located at 4, 2.5, and then C prime being located at 2, 4.5. So on your own, I would like you to try two more one like the first two we did, which was to tell whether this transformation is a dilation where you would compare your ratios. So this side to this side, your top to your top, and then your side to your side. And then you're going to look at the ratios. If they're all the same, it's a dilation. If they're not, then it's not a dilation. And then the last question you're going to try on your own is number seven, dilate the figure by a scale factor of 2. So you're going to list your vertices, your original vertices, then you're going to multiply by 2 for this example because that's your scale factor and then you're going to um, plot your new points. So good luck with that. Ask any questions, make sure you ask um, because I'm definitely here to help you um, and if there's anything you don't get I want you to make sure that you know you're at least trying to get it, and if you do a good job and get this finished, make sure that you show it to me so I can check it or, and give you credit, and then also for doing it, I'll give you a prize. So good luck, guys. Let me know if you need any help.